In this video, we're going to show you how to enter a batch supplier credit. To start with, open suppliers and then choose batch credit from the toolbar at the top. The first column that you're prompted to complete is the account reference. So you can either type in the supplier account reference or select it from the list. You have an option to attach a document. So again, if you have a photograph of a credit note or maybe a scanned copy or you've received a PDF copy, you've got that saved to your PC, you can click attach, click browse, and literally browse to the document that you want to attach. So in this case, our credit. Next, you enter the date. It will pick up your program date. However, this can be changed. Your due date will just calculate automatically. We then get an option to enter a credit number. Also, you can enter an extra reference. You can specify the nominal code. The nominal code will be picked up from the supplier record defaults area but can be changed if required. And that also goes for the department option as well. If you have enabled the charities option within the software, you'll be able to choose a fund. And also if you use the projects option, you'll be able to choose a project reference and also enter a cost code. We'll leave the fund and project options blank. We'll then tab along to enter some details. We're then prompted to enter the net value. So we'll just type 20 pounds in this case. Choose your tax code. Again, it will pick up that default from the supplier record, but again, it can be changed if required. We'll just leave our set to T1, which is the standard rate of VAT within CH50 Cloud. And then as you'll see, the VAT calculates automatically. Now, if we had a number of batch credits to enter, we could just tab down to the next line and continue entering other credit notes. However, in this instance, we're just going to click save. And then we click close and that's it done. You've entered your batch supplier credit.